Constantly Risking Absurdity, number 15, by Lawrence Ferlinghetti. Constantly risking absurdity and death whenever he performs above the heads of his audience, the poet, like an acrobat, climbs on rhyme to a high wire of his own making, and, balancing on eye beams above a sea of faces, paces his way to the other side of day, performing entrechats and sleight-of-foot tricks and other high theatrics, and all without mistaking anything for what it may not be. For he's the super-realist who must perforce perceive taught truth before the taking of each stance or step in his supposed advance toward that still higher perch, where beauty stands and waits with gravity to start her death-defying leap. And he, a little Charlie Chaplin man, who may or may not catch her fair eternal form, spread-eagled in the empty air of existence. Lawrence Ferlinghetti Lawrence Ferlinghetti was born in Yonkers, New York, in 1919. Several months before Ferlinghetti was born, his father died of a heart attack. Unable to care for him, his mother sent him to live with various relatives, and he eventually landed in France with his aunt. After they moved to America for work, his aunt left suddenly, leaving him with a foster family. It was there that he first encountered poetry. After serving in the U.S. Navy in World War II, Ferlinghetti began writing poetry by imitating his heroes, T.S. Eliot and Ezra Pound. Determined to develop his own voice, he began to focus on creating a new style of poetry, leading to his collection A Coney Island of the Mind. Soon after its publication, Ferlinghetti started a poetry magazine and opened the City Lights Bookstore in San Francisco. Ferlinghetti's poetry is known for its creative imagery and humor. He continues to write and publish today.